She thinks if she has a baby, she has somebody to love her. I know that I'm too young to be having a baby, but now I'm pregnant. Are you sure you're pregnant? Are you sure? I'm afraid you're going to be dead before you're 18. That's why. Why am I going to be dead? She's been having sex since she was 11 years old. The hospital gives her condoms. Does she use them? To blow up his water balloons. <laughs> I can't think stick around when I have a baby, or I want a baby. Look what she's doing, my mom. She's ruining her life by trying to get pregnant. How can you say that, that you don't love your mother? Easy. A baby having a baby. What's she gonna do? How's she gonna take care of that baby? Everybody tells me not to bother with you. Could you be pregnant now? I'm not raising no more kids. We would like you to meet Shelly, who is 14 years old, and this is Ebony, who is only 12. And they are both pregnant. And they plan to keep their babies, even though the families say that they're very young to be mothers. And we're going to hear from some members of their families in just a minute. First, I think it's important that we talk to the girls and find out what's going on. Ebony, you're 12 years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... How long have you been sexually active? Since I was, since I first turned 12. Since you first turned 12? Yeah. So it's been the same year, right? Yes. Uh, were you using protection? I never had birth control, but I did use condoms sometimes. Uh, did you know that you could get pregnant if you did not use them all the time? Yeah, I knew that I could get pregnant because I was pregnant once before, and I had, <laughs> and I had a miss. When were you pregnant once before? About five, six months ago. You were pregnant? And I had a miscarriage. And so you knew that you could get pregnant? Yes, I did know. Okay. When you had the miscarriage, your mother told you that that was God's way of letting you know that you uh, are not ready to have a baby yet? Yes, yeah, she said that. Then why did you have sex without using protection? I don't know. I mean, I knew that I could get pregnant, you know, without using a condom, but I guess when I was doing it that I guess I just wasn't thinking about having a baby, you know. Uh -huh. Ebony, uh, do you think you will be able to raise the baby? I mean, you're 12 years old. How are you going to take care of the baby? Well, I don't think that I can take care of it by myself, but now I'm hoping that my mom and my family is going to give me some support on helping you know, me raise my child, and um, mm -hmm. and I plan to finish school and go into our. Huh? Wow. 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 What responsibility is. I know that I'm too young to be having a baby, but now I'm pregnant, and... Well, there's, you're, you're going to do the best you can, aren't you, Ebony? Yes, of course. Okay, let's talk to 14-year-old Shelly. Shelly, you told us you were having unprotected sex for about a year, but you didn't know you could get pregnant. Well, I was... We would use condoms some of the times because I was with the same person, you know. Okay, but why not all the time? I don't know. I was pregnant once before, but I had a miscarriage. And then, and then after that, you know, I just... You all right, Ebony? I just really didn't think about it, you know. You didn't think about it. Now, you don't go to school, and you told us you love to party and stay out till 3 or 4 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And you also told us that you're still drinking and using drugs, even though you're pregnant. Do you understand why a lot of people think that if you're drinking yeah, see, and using see, drugs... See, I've been doing that ever since I was 12, and it's really hard to... to Shelly, our producer said the best part of raising the baby yourself will be raising it to grow up to be what I am not. Mm -hmm. You don't want your baby to be like you? Why? Because my life was hell. Tell me about that, Shelly.
Shelly, has your family been has your family been helpful to you? No, not at all. Not at all. Do you have a mom and a dad? I don't know my dad. You've never met your dad? No. Has your mother raised you? No. Who raised you? I was in a foster system for like six years and then I started running away and then I lived on the streets since I was 11. So who is taking care of you now? My cousin, she raised me for the first three or four years of my life. And then she couldn't raise you anymore? No, my mom took me away and then I got in. And then the social services took me away from her. Does your mother know that you're pregnant? No. Is there any help that uh, you can get that you would stop drinking and partying? Or do you like to party that much? I'm trying to quit right now. I haven't partied for a few days. For a few days? <laughs> Shelly's uh, cousin, uh, Sherry, and Ebony's sister, Shannon, have been waiting backstage. So let's hear what they have to say. Sherry and Shannon, come on out. <laughs> Sherry, I know you were not happy when you found out that uh, Shelly was pregnant. Uh, how do you feel now? She can't even take care of herself. How is she going to take care of a child? Well, uh, she, she brought a puppy home to my house last week. I told her, you're never going to be able to take it home where you're staying. You don't even have a stable home. It's staying around the corner at a friend's. What's she gonna do? Take the baby to a friend's around the corner and leave it there? Yep. You know? What do you feel, Shannon, when you found out that Ebony was pregnant at The first 12? time or the second time? The first time, I think I was upset because she was pregnant, but Ebony, she been having sex since she was 11 years old. Oh my she's, God. Uh, she's outrageous. She's go out, I'm 23 years old. She go with dudes my age, and I be asking Ebony, how did that feel? Do that hurt? You 12 years old, how did that feel? I was mad, I was mad, but a baby having a baby, what's she gonna do? How's she gonna take care of that baby? How, uh, Ebony, how are you gonna take care of the baby? She don't know how. She doesn't know. No, she don't. Uh-huh. Ebony, she's hot, she's hot, she's hot. She wear hoochie mama clothes. She wear baby dudes. She have, she have people older than her having sex with her. She come home 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. When I was 12 years old, I couldn't do that. I had to be on before the street lights could be on. I had to be on before the street lights. When the street lights were on, I had to go. I couldn't be up. I couldn't be down the street when the street lights was on. I had to be in the house before the street lights on. See, she's different from me. She leaves, go back. She'll run away for three weeks, four weeks. When I leave and come home late, that's just like me. You get our an argument or me and mama get an argument or something and then I leave I go to Mike's house or I go to Nikki's house or something and then I want to but come back. Okay, but Abby, you that that little like, front Abby, that no little front Abby, I don't want to go for because I live with you since you've been no, waiting. Shannon, so that's what you like. Oh, in front of everybody. I'm not going for it, okay? I'm not going for it. I know how you act. I'm not going for it. Go ahead. I'm not going for it. Go ahead. Ebony, you're 12 years old. You should be playing with dolls, not boys. Thank you. And you should be going to school and thinking about your education because you can't support that baby at 12 years old. My friend is 18 and she still struggles. Mm -hmm. Give me a break. Yeah. I know that I live a fast life and I should slow down, but now I'm already pregnant. Well, first of all, I think all the crying and stuff has got to stop. I mean, you weren't crying when you were laying there. <laughs> your family to help you is wrong because they didn't help you lady. They sure didn't. You right. You right. Explain to me what you're saying. I want a pregnancy test for her. Why? Because I really don't. I'm not sure if she's pregnant or not. I. That's my opinion and my mother's opinion that, you know, I want to see with my own eyes, pink or blue, whether it's, you know. Are you, are you sure that you're pregnant? Yeah. She says she went to Planned Parenthood. They, if, if, if the test was, if they would have, if, if it would have been positive, they would have given her a referral. Okay. Would, would you like to take a pregnancy her mother, test? 
What? Would you like to take a pregnancy test? You don't care? Oh, she's I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. Do you want to do it? Yes? I mean, I don't really get it. If I already know I'm pregnant, why should I take pregnancy? Okay. Because it's just something for the satisfaction of the family. For Grandma, Papa, because they are worried about you. They've tried to help you and help you. And then, grandma and Grandma's not their own business. You know, when I'm worried, I'm afraid you're going to be dead before you're 18. Why? Why am I going to be dead? Do you know what you're talking about? know you're pregnant. You must ain't pregnant or something. I mean, why should I have to prove it to everybody here? Because you got nothing to do. Let me say something. I'm 17 years old. If I was pregnant, I would let everybody in the whole world know that. Why you don't want to tell your cousin that you're pregnant? I'm saying you faking Jax. You ain't pregnant. You want sympathy. You ain't pregnant. I am 17 years old. I have a two-year-old son. Had him when I was 15. It is hard. This is my last year of high school. I have two months left, but it is hard. Crying ain't gonna help. It's too late now. It is too late. Y'all need to go get a, get your education. If you're not pregnant, girl, take that test. Why are you telling us to mind your business? You up here telling us your business. She needs to take the test because if for some reason she's not pregnant, she has a chance. up like her mother. I won't grow up like my mother. If you keep going the way you are, you will. Wait a minute. And I love you too much to see you on that kind of road. How do you tell these guys to take care of you? Do you guys wait? Do you guys? Haven't I stood by you and haven't I helped you when you needed it most? Who was there when you were running away from foster homes? Who was there to try and keep you from getting killed on the streets at night? Who was sneaking you clothes and food? And, and then when it came time, ended up having to call the police to come and get you because you're so out of control. I wouldn't do that with her. I okay. want the best for you. <laughs> you know, everybody tells me not to bother with you, not to take your phone calls, not to see you when you come to the house, but I do because because I'm all you have. Mm -mm. I am the only one that, you know, why do you think I called the show? Why do you think I came here? I didn't have to. I didn't have to put myself on national TV crying and being all worried because of you. I, I was hoping, I'm hoping that once you see this, once you see how you act on here, that you're going to turn around. I've seen girls that are on this show that are a lot tougher than you, have a lot more problems than you, and they turn their life around. Here's, here's what I'm going to do. I do not. No, I want you to do. I do not believe that you should force. This is not a court of law, and we should not force anybody to do anything they don't want to do. So I will defend your right not to. If but are you she... telling us the truth? Are you sure you're pregnant? Are you sure? Well, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I would like her to take the test simply okay. because I would like to see for myself, for one, and but for you're two, gonna have to if she, her, you know, not me. if okay. she hasn't, you know, had her, you know, monthly for the last t two and a half months, something could be wrong. Okay. If, you know, even if she's you not pregnant, something could be wrong. You go backstage and you think about it. Don't pressure any, don't let anyone pressure you. It's your decision. Okay, and I'll back your decision. Same with you, Ebony. You go backstage and you decide if you want to do it and you don't want to do it. Okay? Ebony, go ahead. They want go ahead. We'll be right back. They want her back. Up. You told us any guy I sleep with is a potential sperm donor. I don't care if he sticks around. All I want is a baby. Is that true? I don't care if they stick around when I have a baby. All I want is just a baby. Could you be pregnant now? Look what she's doing, my mom. She's ruining her life by trying to get pregnant. How can you say that you don't love your mother? Easy. 
You don't want Well, this is Catherine. Catherine is here because her daughter, who is 15, also named Catherine, has been trying to get pregnant. Is that right? Uh, why, why trying? I mean, that's what we're saying. She just wants to try. She just, she thinks if she has a baby, she has somebody that love her. Does she care who she's having the baby with? No. Okay. You are the mother of four other daughters? Yes. That's a lot to handle, right? Mm-hmm. When she, you put her on birth control twice, the hospital gives her condoms, an advocate worker gives her condoms. Does she use them? To blow up his water balloons? <laughs> My goodness. Now, she's on house arrest for getting into a fight in school. She's gone to court for aggravated assault against a schoolmate, and she failed a drug test at school twice for pot. Not at, at school, at a probation officer. She's on probation. Pot and acid? Pot and acid. Acid, angel dust, whatever she can do. Whatever. Now, you've had a few scares with her also, have you not? Tell me about that. Excuse me? You've had a few scares with her already? I've had what? Had a few scares with her? I've had four scares already. The first time, I found a letter in her drawer stating to another friend that she may be pregnant. Um, any of the guys that she's with will tell her if she gets pregnant, I'm going to deny it. She... Let's find out why she wants to get pregnant. Let's have a... Come on, Catherine. Catherine, Junior, what is going, what is going on here? I want to have a baby. Why? Why? So I have somebody to look after me and... Go get a topic. And so... And so I have something to do. What? I'm sorry, I don't understand. So I have somebody to look out to me, so I have something to do, so I ain't bored and I ain't getting in trouble. Get a why, are, why aren't you in school? Okay. I do go to school. What? I do go to school. Why are you bored? Because I got to stay in. I got to get one at 8 o'clock. You're on house arrest, with. so you're bored, and you want to have the baby so you won't be bored. Did mm -hmm. I understand that? Okay. Catherine, you told us any guy I sleep with is a potential sperm donor. I don't care if he sticks around. All I want is a baby. Is that true? I don't care if they stick around when I have a baby. All I want is just a baby. You had an HIV. Your mother is going to end up having a black child. Catherine, every time you find out you're not pregnant, do you get very upset? Yeah. Could you be pregnant now? No. Mother no. says no. no. Okay. I was 22 when I had them, and I still say I was too young. Yes. I still say I ruined my life. I love my kids. I would do anything for them, but I'm not raising no more kids. I've had my babies. I've taken in kids. I'm not raising no more. She has another one. She has one. She's gone. She's, I love the... I cherish the ground she walks on, but I'm not going to have it. I'm not having that ruined life. You mentioned she uh, care. drugs and alcohol are one thing that you're putting in your body. You're also giving it to your baby. How about AIDS? I talked to I'm blue in my face about it. She says she doesn't care if she gets it. No, no, no. no I have a who has AIDS. His girlfriend has AIDS, and their newborn baby has AIDS. What do you think about that? I cry every time I think about it. And you're... Oh, no. You just... That's sad. She has a twin. She has a twin right there that is completely different. Completely different. Right there. Right sitting next to my mother. She's crying. She talks to her. She tells her, Catherine, you don't need to have no baby. I'm too young to have a baby. Why would you want to have one? Can you explain why you're crying? 
crying because they're all, is this your sister? Are you crying because everyone's yelling at her? No. Why are you crying? <laughs> Look what she's doing my mom. She's ruining her life by trying to get pregnant. How has this affected the whole family? Catherine does what she wants. She goes out, does what she wants. My mom worries really sick about her, and she still don't care. Catherine? No. I have a 12-year-old that knows more what she's done than I have. Oh. With sex. My 12-year-old will come up to me and say, Mom, Catherine told me she was with this guy or she was with that guy. The first, oh, first boy she went to bed with, she's never seen him again. One time. I said, Catherine, how does this make you feel? I don't no, care. I've seen him with friends. I mean. Oh! Let her come and stay with me. Do you me. want to talk to your sister? No way. Tell your sister how you feel. Catherine, you're going to ruin your life. What are you going to do if you think you're pregnant? None of the guys are going to stay with you. How are you going to support the kid? You can't get a job. You don't go to school. Once. You have a kid. How would you, you start you, living your life? You how start would you support the child? First of all, Catherine, is it fair to bring a child into the world already addicted to drugs? No. Is it? Okay. I want you to. I want you to think about that. <laughs> Second of all, mother cannot support another child. Who is going to support the baby? Who? I will. How? I can get a job. My no. car can get a job. Job. There's no boss in the world that's going to put up with you coming in whatever time you want. I don't do yeah. jobs anymore. Every, every job you go to now, they do a urinalysis. They How are you going to get a job if you don't go to school? You don't stay in school not even half a day. Oh. Yeah. But she I still has go to school. Don't you don't worry because about Because she's on house arrest nothing. and has a probation worker. That's why she stopped drugs. Half of the guys you've been with, they dump you right after they have sex with you. No, what is that? No, Nothing. I don't think so. You're going to ruin your life, I don't think so, okay? <sighs> Look what you're doing to your mom. Don't you care how she feels? Do you love her? No. Why do you not love your mother? Why do you not love your mother? That's the most shocking thing I've heard. Nobody said they don't love their mother. Why do you not love your mother? Because every day I get in trouble for stuff. Not my sisters. They could do something. So that's not. That's not, not like rules. But Catherine, my, every child feels that the mother blames that child. That doesn't mean you don't love your mother. How can you say that, that you don't love your mother? Easy. You this don't love your mother? Look at your mother. I want you to look at your mother. Tell her how you feel when she said she didn't love you. If my daughter said that, I think it would be the end of the world. It hurts me, and you, and you know that, because every time you say it, I tell you it, it hurts me. How many times have I sat there and told you I love you? I don't want you put away. I'm fighting in court, and what do you, what do, you do? Three, four times a day I have to hear, I hate this house. I want to be put away. Is that what you, you want a baby to do? Yeah. We'll be right back. Heather wants to marry a 28 year old, is that what? right? You should be shy. <laughs> And now Heather has announced she's been having unprotected sex because she wants to give him a baby. <laughs> Why would she lie and say she was pregnant when she isn't pregnant? She wants someone to love. She wants to follow 
do everything that, that, you know, I do or have done, you know, just things like that. She just, she wants, she wants help, but she doesn't want authority at the same time. Right. She wants unconditional love, but yet she wants to be able to run around, do whatever she wants. And that's, both of them. she can't have that. Both of them agreed to take pregnancy tests. I don't have the answer yet. All right, let's bring them both back, Shelly and Ebony. Come on. Come on, come on over here and sit down. Go uh, sit over there and you sit over there. Now, what is going on with Catherine Jr.? I can't imagine how that must feel. I don't know what's going on. I've tried helping her. I've taken her to counseling. She's had babies overnight to see that it's not easy. She's helped me take care of babies. I don't know. I don't know what more to say to her. Just feel lost, right? It's not easy to get rid of your daughter. No, At least not. I know it's for not. not me. No, it's not. But you're going to keep on having the same old problems then. Yes. Keep on stressing you out. You don't want to get stressed out, not her. She know what she's doing to you. Just like she was doing that to my mom. She know what she's doing to you. That's why she keep on saying, that's why she said she didn't love you right there. Because she know how much that hurts you. She want that. She wants you to be hurt. Yeah, that's true. And you're going to keep on stepping that then. That's on you. That's your problem. Yeah. I agree. You don't deserve that. I would think that would... First of all, I hope in your heart you know she doesn't mean it. I know that. Okay, good. Because that's very, very, very important. Where is she now? Where has Crying she been? right there. Okay. She wanted to leave? She wanted to leave? Oh, okay. Yes. Back there? Catherine? That was a very, very hurtful thing you said to your mother. You know that, don't you? Please tell me you don't mean it. <sighs> I think your mother, you don't feel that your mother tries to do everything in the world she can for you? No? Do you want to come back or do you want to stay here? Will you promise us that you'll really think about getting pregnant and what it means? As uh, people have told you, we've had tougher girls turn their lives around. You know, you must have something that's very important. You'll be able to turn your life around. You really can. You're strong enough to be this far. You're strong enough to go the rest of the way. Do you want your sister to come back and talk to you? No. You sure? All right, then you stay here. I'll tell Mom. <sighs> Maybe I think the sister should go back and talk to her. Sis, do you want to go back and talk to your sister or not? No? Sure. Should we just leave her there? Okay. All right. Please meet. Wow. Terry. Terry is here because she's been battling with her 16 year old daughter, Heather. Heather wants to marry a 28 year old. Is that what? right? We should be shut. <laughs> and now Heather has announced she's been having unprotected sex because. She wants to give him a baby. Mm -hmm. Let me, how did you find out she was doing this? She came in late one night and we went through her purse. She was way past her curfew and that's how we found out. Uh -huh. But before any of y'all start going off on my daughter, I want you to know we have an excellent relationship. She has cancerous cells of the uterus. I think that's why she is trying to get pregnant so fast. She's afraid they're going to end up giving her a complete hysterectomy at the age of 16. And I'm going to stand beside my daughter 100%. She's mine. But is 28 years old and he's been married twice, twice. before. I would think myself that that was, no matter how nice he was, that that was that's, unsuitable. That's correct. And we brought in a counselor, and the counselor told us, you either accept your daughter's choice or you lose your daughter. Under no circumstances, there is nothing my daughter can do on this earth that will ever make me throw her out the door and not love her. No. All right, let's talk to Heather. Heather, come on out. I think you're right in standing by your daughter. However, I, uh... Heather, 
Heather, let's talk. You're 16 years old. Is mother right? That's why you want to have a baby? Do you want to have a baby to hold on to the boyfriend, or do you want to have a baby because you want to have a baby? I want to have a baby now because I may not have another. What does that mean? That means any time within the near future, she could ha possibly have to now have wait, a hysterectomy. Now, wait. I warn you, you're talking to an adoptive mother who has children. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay? So let's understand that her being selfish and wanting a baby, that is to me selfish. I'm sorry. But I think that way. And uh, I think that there are many ways of raising children and having children that have and nothing to do with you have that right to have that opinion. You're 16. <laughs> uh, no, come here. Take a break, we'll be right back. Director <laughs> Gilda Carl. Let's start with uh, last things first. I need help with that. Oh. Uh, let me explain what happened. Uh, when we were talking about people who had teenagers, who uh, parents were very upset that the teenagers were pregnant, uh, that mother called us, and she was very upset her daughter had cancer, and she was very upset that her daughter was trying to have a baby, the mother thought, for the young man who'd been married twice and had not had a child. So that's what we were dealing with. Now, when she came out and the audience was angry, it's, it's very normal for a mother to defend her little chicks or goats or... <laughs> normal. Any mother, very, very any mother normal. would do that. So what do you think about that? I mean, I think it's... Um, it shows you what a mother will do to protect her child. Sure. Don't you agree? Sure. Yeah. I think they need to get a doctor's opinion before the girl rushes off at 16 and tries to have a baby. You know, Sally, yeah. these reasons that we have heard throughout this entire show for having babies are not the right reasons. That's right. The audience knows that. No. Especially in the, in the last segment, for example, if a, if a young girl of 16 has a medical problem, you don't compound a problem, one problem, with another oh, problem. Yeah. Yeah. So that's inappropriate. That's what I would think. All right, so we will tell them that and be as easygoing as we can. I can understand their emotional thing. Now, what is happening? I feel so badly for Catherine Sr. and Catherine Jr. Did you get to talk to Catherine oh. Jr.? Because when I went backstage, she didn't particularly want to have anything to do with me, which is fine. That's <laughs> It's fine. It's, it's I sure right. did. I got a lot from her. And actually, rather than have me tell it, maybe we ought to bring her out here yeah. to tell you what's going on. She's still back where I left her? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Catherine? Yeah. Catherine, do you want to speak for yourself? Come on. You come back to me. She loves her mother also. Good. Catherine, Catherine Jr., tell your mama what's really going on, like what we discussed backstage. Come on, tell her. I don't hate you. I know that. We knew that. Yeah. I know that. Tell her, tell her what else is going on. Tell her tell why me. you really think you want to have a baby. Come on, honey. Tell her what you told me backstage. You can tell me. You can tell me anything. I told you that. Listen, okay, wait. How many kids do you have? I have three of my own and one that's a foster That house. makes four children in the house. She is part of a twin. 
she feels as though she's not getting enough attention. And she figures that if she has a baby, this is how she would be able to have something of her own. Somebody who would, she thinks, love her unconditionally. We all know, we all know the truth, but this is what is going through her mind. The reality is that she's crying out for somebody to love her. And you know, you're busy as can be with your life trying to get everything in order. You're, you're a single parent with four kids and she just feels like she's been cast aside. And that's not the reason we have babies, this, is it? <laughs> we'll take a break, we'll be right back. Gilda, we have a lot to deal with with our other. I think if I uh, get Gilda to help me, let us start with Ebony. Ebony, as I read this, you are pregnant, and your sister knew it. Now she's 12 and a half. You read Wonderful. That that's pregnant. What can we do about Ebony? Because I know her sister is very. Mm -hmm. Please help me. Please. Help okay, me. I want to ask Ebony. What is Ebony going to do about Ebony? Yeah. You cannot continue doing what you have been doing and think that you're going to bring a baby into this world and take care of the baby to love you and respect you and look up to you. What is Ebony going to do now? So the question is, are you going to put it up for adoption, do you think? Do you think you're going to get somebody in your family to help you raise this child? What are you going to do? We have heard on this stage, all these girls talk about, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to finish my education. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Right now is where it's at. What are you going to do now, tomorrow, after you leave this show? I, I can't get a job. I mean, I'm too young. Right, so you were too young to have that baby. But, but. All right. Let oh, me go okay. to uh, Shelly, if I might. Uh, you are completely correct. Your sister is not pregnant. <laughs> What does that tell us? Does that, t and by the way, I know you may be worried that there's something wrong with you. When you're young, your hormones go up and down, and there's nothing wrong with you, nothing at all. You're going to be all right, and maybe this is a second chance. Maybe it? this is a second chance. I sure hope so. I want you to do something with your life. We'll take a break, we'll be right back. We're back to back. Even though Shelley's pregnancy test was negative, she's still telling people that she's pregnant because she thinks this will make her boyfriend come back to her. After the show, Ebony apologized to her family for all the heartache she's put them through. She's now living in a group home for pregnant teens and going to school. And she says she'll do whatever she can to be the best mother that she can be when her baby is born. Catherine Jr. has decided to stop trying to get pregnant and has started counseling. However, her mom tells us that the problems are far from over. Watch our upcoming mother and daughter update show to hear the rest of their story. Okay, let me see if I can do sort of a wrap up first of all. I hope that Terry will uh, help her daughter stand by her the way she is and help her daughter with her medical problems before she encourages her or helps her to get pregnant because I think the medical thing is the most important thing in her life. I think uh, Catherine Jr. and Catherine Sr. can maybe give each other a little more time and attention and uh, know that a baby is not the solution. And the important thing is that you love your mother and that she knows, because she said to me, I know she loves me. As to uh, Shelley, uh, there are family members. Does she have a place to stay? She has one, but she doesn't want to go to it. I offered to go there with her for a week or mm -hmm. two to let her adjust. After this show, I've been through too much stress. After this show, if she doesn't want to accept my help, if she would just wants to run around the streets, 
Well, you know, know what? what? You know, I am hoping that she's the one who beats the odds. I, I believe I in her. I don't think she's going to now. Well, From what she just I said. I believe that I she do. will. I think she will. We, we have I, to give We her believe hope. she That's could right. come back and she could beat the odds. Yeah. Um, Ebony, Ebony has promised us that she will stay in school. Right, Ebony? You promised us you'd stay in school? Yeah. You've promised us that you're going to be somebody. We're going to keep in touch with you and see what happens when the baby is born. Okay. And boy, you owe your sister a big thank you because she must care and all. Oh, yeah. 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 See you next time. Thank you, brother.